Candia with Candia Hainsworth Designs and I am in the official classroom for the Sew It and Show workshops. Only that I'm on the embroidery side and you can hear my embroidery machine going. Okay, so thank you for joining in on Candia's Seat, which is the YouTube channel for sewing, embroidery, and tutorials. Today we are going to talk about how to put personalization on these Dollar Tree Christmas stockings. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the stocking, a few pins, water solvey stabilizer, a seam ripper, a pair of scissors. I use tear away um, stabilizer, but if you have the sticky back, that would actually be better. You're going to need your embroidery hoop, your embroidery machine, and if you are using a tear away stabilizer, you will need some spray adhesive and you will need your sewing machine. Let's get started. First, you're going to put your stabilizer on the hoop without the stocking. And then, if you are using a uh, tear away stabilizer, this is the time that you want to spritz it with some spray adhesive. And then place it aside. Next, you want to uh, grab your stocking, take the tag off of it, and pull out the insert. I want you to direct your attention to the actual stocking because what I have found is several Dollar Trees by me have different kind of stockings. So the ones that I was working with does not have the little flap and that means that it's all attached here. Whereas others that I have purchased have the little flap. This makes it a little bit harder to do the embroidery or a little bit more challenging, okay? So if you can avoid getting the Christmas stockings with the little uh, flap here, then do so. Because all you would have to do with this one is open it up from the inside, take your seam ripper, and literally just lift up the seams, okay? And once you do that, you're going to open up the other side with your scissors. because. It's uh, only sewn in on one side. Okay, so it opens very easily. Like so. And then you would take your scissors and cut this side open. like so okay so you have both sides that are open oh my embroidery machine must have ran out of bobbin okay so you have both sides that are open now you just have to decide which angle are you going to do your embroidery are you going to do it this way or are you going to do it this way all right and if your uh tear away stabilizer isn't tacky anymore just spritz it again but that's pretty tacky okay so now you want to take one flap okay so now the other flap is going to be folded down and then you're going to take one flap and just place it onto this the tear away stabilizer or your sticky back stabilizer and now I'm taking my fingers and I am just brushing the hairs in the direction or the in the direction that it's supposed to go in okay and once again this little flap the other one that we opened is not going onto the, um, the embroidery machine hoop and notice I didn't hoop it I just actually spritzed it and now it is stuck there okay so now you want to take your uh, water stabilizer your water solvey stabilizer and what I like to do is just spritz a little bit and fold because I like to use three layers for these uh, Christmas stockings. So I'm not going to get crazy here. I'm just going to spritz a little bit and then fold like so. And then I'm going to just spritz it very lightly because we don't want it to stick too much to the, uh, to the fur here. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the second one in half. But I don't think you need four. I mean, you could use four. It's not going to hurt, but... It just might be a little bit overkill. I'm just going to take this half, spritz it very lightly, 
And now we are ready to take this to the embroidery machine. Okay, so we have finished with the embroidery part of it, and I have just taken it off of the machine. Oh, look at all this residue here. Mm, Got to do a video on that, how to clean these hoops. Anyways, I wanted to point out that we stayed within the field that we wanted to stay in. Okay, so that's the whole point of um, putting those pins there and doing the trace out so you know that you are where you want to be. Okay, and um, I also will do an embroidery report card on the font that, we, that I'm using today for uh, this Payton logo, but I'm going to meet you at the uh, sewing machine now, and I'll show you how to put it all together. We will be replacing the uh, the ribbon. The ribbon that it comes on is kind of thin, so now is the best time to add a decorative ribbon if you have, or if you have a Christmas ribbon or, or uh, something else. So I'll meet you at the sewing machine, and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, so after you take it off of the embroidery hoop, you want to remove your water solve stabilizer and your ta ta um, I'm sorry, tacky or your tear away stabilizer before you take it to the sewing machine. That is really important. Otherwise, you'll just have a mess and you'll be stitching over all this uh, little residue. So once again, you want to remove your water solve stabilizer as well as your tear away stabilizer if that's what you used. And um, my um battery died so now I'm using my cell phone once again I apologize about that okay so one of the things I wanted to point out is when you have uh, removed your tear away stabilizer from the back and you have removed your water solve from the front simply by pulling it you're going to be depending on you know the lettering or the design or the font you're using you're going to have some uh, stabilizer water solve in between I would not recommend spritzing this I know some people will say well candy it's water stabilizer why can't I use water to remove it because that's the whole purpose of water stabilizer. It dissolves the stabilizer, right? The water that is. But um, it's glue. Um, it will turn like a glue-like setting onto your um, your fur and you don't want that okay so I just recommend using either a safety pin or something like a seam ripper just to get in between those letters and then use your fingers just to kind of pull it up but I would not spritz, spritz this with water or even steam um, I, I just wouldn't do it I think that you will ruin your um, your beautiful embroidery and if you are using Dollar Tree um, you know, Christmas stockings, keep in mind, okay, they came from Dollar Tree, so they're not, you know, the, the best quality, so you don't want to go and uh, do anything to ruin this, okay? So once again, you just want to use a safety pin or something like a seam ripper to really get in between there and just gently, you know, poke or pierce a hole in it and then pull the rest out with your fingers. And once again, before we take it to the sewing machine, I just wanted to do one more thing uh, just to show you what I do. So sometimes you'll have hairs that are, you know, covering or sinking your embroidery. I just go in there with a little scissor and just kind of trim it along, just along the embroidery where it is kind of blocking it a little bit because you want your embroidery to show, okay? But, you know, with these high pile fabrics like a towel or a Christmas stocking, your embroidery can sink inside of it even after using several layers of stabilizer okay so I say just go in there and trim you don't want to get crazy but you just want to neatly cut it around the edges where your embroidery may sink so you'll see that you know like for this E you see how bold that is, but then it has these fine points around the P, and that's where you want to go. You want to go in there and just kind of trim it just along so you want to make sure you do not cut your uh, stocking, okay? And, um, you know, if we didn't use water stabilizer, this would be a lot worse than what it is. It's not that it's bad, but it could just be better. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up here, just go in there and just... Um, finely cut it that's where these you know a good pair of scissors come into play because when you're doing things like this you don't want to uh, play around with the uh, a dull pair of scissors and then when you are finished um, taking up you know all the excess of hair you want to go in there with maybe a piece of tape and just kind of pat it around just to make sure that you're getting all that residue from the hairs that you're cutting and it's not 
um, you know, all over your um, your Christmas stocking. Okay, so I think that I'm almost done here. And this time, I promise, I will meet you at the sewing machine.